babes welcome back to another vlog if you're new hi my name is fab welcome 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 and happy friday today has been a day a long day right now it is 11 46 and i want to go ahead and start the vlog we did a lot of running around we went to the mall we went to gamestop we went to target before we even went to t-mobile <sighs> so your girl is tired I came to a realization that I need to learn how to balance things a little bit better. I feel like my time management is not working out for me because by the end of Friday, I am really, really tired. And I said this before my last, not my last vlog, but a couple of vlogs before this that I've been so tired on Fridays. I, I don't know what it is and I'm not complaining. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, I do cook. And I think those are the days I pick to work out. And sometimes I take London to volleyball practice on Thursdays, but hubby been taking her for the past, maybe like two or three weeks. And he's right here playing his game. You can't hear me, babe. Look at him. <laughs> you can't hear me. <laughs> I'm gaming. Yes, he's gaming. So, and then not only that, I, edit my vlogs on Mondays Mondays and Tuesdays and you all know I do have a full-time job and I have to wake up at 5 30 so by me editing my videos late and then have to wake up and like I said I'm not complaining I think I just need to do better with my time management and work out as well because I like I said you know I want to work out Mondays and Wednesdays and sometimes you know Fridays I'm actually trying to work out three times a week but sometimes it doesn't happen that way I always think about okay I need to cook and make sure everybody else is good and I don't work out like I feel like I need a vacation as well I feel like my brain and everything is just kind of like shutting down and it's just time to take a break but I'm not trying to take a break from YouTube. Like I said, I'm not complaining. I just need to learn to manage it a little bit better. But anyways, hope you all had a great week. Sorry to start off like that. Just want to say that. <laughs> Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know your girl would truly, truly appreciate it. And turn your notification on so you miss out on your girl. All right, so this is one of my Mother's Day gift. Hubby got me the iPhone... 14 Pro Max and look I had to really think about it y'all notice how these new phones don't come with a cube anymore isn't that something you spend all this money on a phone and it doesn't come with a cube anymore you trying to listen to me babe look at him he trying to listen to me so what's so funny is when I opened the bag and I saw a phone in there <laughs> you listen to me babe no oh when I opened the bag, he got his headphones on. That's why I'm saying that. Sorry, y'all. When I opened the bag, I was like, babe, you got me another phone for Mother's Day? Because last year he got me the 13 Pro Max. And then this year he got me the 14. So I'm like, babe, you got me a phone last year. He didn't even remember that he bought me one last year. And I know he's he's helping me out because he's like, well, I heard on the Pro, the 14 Pro Max, that the camera is better. And he knows I need to take pictures for my thumbnails. But I actually really need to go ahead and use my camera, which I did use when we went to the winery. So I did use my phone and the camera. I just need to learn the settings, which I just need to take time out with that to learn it. I'm telling you, I'm doing everything else and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get to it. And I, like I said, I did do a to-do list one day and that actually worked out and I felt like I accomplished everything that day. So maybe I need to start doing that, writing it down, taking notes or something. Maybe take 30 minutes out of my day to actually learn how to use the camera a little bit better instead of having it on just the auto auto settings. Why do I always do that? 
begins to catch my breath. I don't know. The auto settings, I just need to learn how to use it. I, it's horrible with that. I, I, I need to do better with that. I always need to do better with a lot of things. Y'all notice that? And sorry about the lighting as well. I do have my little light on top of my camera. Y'all already know. We well, ain't even gonna discuss that. But here is the phone. I love it and the picture quality is better. London took this picture of me. It's horrible, but um, in T-Mobile. But look at the quality on this camera. Really, really nice. It took us forever to get everything, to transfer everything because what happened is I got this phone. Hubby got my old 13 Pro Max. London got his phone, which is the, what phone you got, babe? What was your old phone? I think it was an 8. So it took us a couple of hours, not even a couple of hours, probably like an hour and a half in T-Mobile to do all that. And when I got home, y'all, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't know any of my passwords. So it took me a good minute to log into everything on my phone. It took me everything to log in to my credit cards, my Wells Fargo, even my social media. I don't know any of those passwords, my Netflix, my Uber, just everything. It took me a minute to do. So I sat here for a good hour trying to do that. And also my emails kept popping up that I had five miss, five unread messages. And I don't like to have notifications <laughs> i don't like to see any notification i like to clear all my notifications that bothers me for some reason it really does it it, it bothers me so yes I got, i'm so happy i got my phone and london got me this isn't this cute and i was thinking about getting a kurt greiger purse like this because you know what <laughs> i just have my cards in my everyday purse right here me digging in it is just too much sometimes. So she got me that. So I'm so happy that she got me this. It's so cute. I love it. I want to show you guys my dog. We're not doing much today. It's already late. I want to wake up early tomorrow to get my hair washed. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Also, when I went to GameStop, my son's birthday is on Wednesday the 24th. And he's turning 24. Wow, I need to play those numbers. So this is what he wanted. He actually asked me for a PS5. And y'all know hubby was asking for a PS5 and I couldn't buy him a PS5 and then buy hubby a PS5. I was like, I'm not buying that. You're a grown man. I'm gonna buy you a little gift. So I got him this and I'm thinking about getting him a card and maybe a cake. We usually go out to eat on his birthday. He's very simple when it comes to that. But he's, he's probably working that day. If he's not, then I may take him somewhere, but I need to ask him if he's not going anywhere. But let me tell you all, hubby got on me earlier about this. What is she doing? What is so earlier doing? today, I applied for a credit card for my son. I was telling my son how he should build his credit. And I said, you know, we'll go ahead and try Capital One, you know, so you can build your credit. But instead of me waiting for him to apply and help him with the application, I went ahead and did it myself. And hubby got so mad at me. He's like, you're not teaching him to be a man and you're doing all this stuff for him. I was like, I know. I know that was wrong to do, but I just wanted to, I don't know, it's a habit. I just wanted to do that for him. And then when he get the car, you know, teach him about building his credit, how important it is to have good credit and, you know, to pay off the credit card and use a little bit of it, you know, 30% of the credit card and pay it off on time. I wanted to teach him that once we receive it. I know I was wrong for doing it myself. It was just a habit, y'all. But at least when we filled out the application, I did let him do it and I sat next to him, make sure that he answered the questions correctly. I just couldn't do it. I feel bad how he kept going on and on and on and on. Right, babe? Huh? He kept going on and on about me filling out the, um, the credit card application for a bill. Nice. <laughs> I already told him that I did that. But yeah, so like I told you all before, I, you know, I'm trying to teach him things in life to prepare him. And yes, I know I was wrong for that. Comment down below. I know I was wrong. You can say I was wrong. I know. I know. Still my baby, my firstborn. I'm really trying to help him, but I guess in a way that was not helping him. 
So hopefully next time around, I'll go ahead and just let him do it himself. But I guess I'm gonna watch hubby play his game. How long you been playing this game, babe? Uh, about 20 minutes. Hey, Slay Babes, and happy Saturday. Just finished getting my hair done. And yes, I threw on my hat again. Your girl hair is thin. We already talked about this, how that sewing messed up my hair. And here we are right now. The lady was trying to sell me the drops. But the thing is, I have that Mayel drops. I just need to be consistent with it and actually use it often. I already know that's so when uh, it's so depressing to even talk about. So that's why I have my hat on right now. I'm about to go to the beauty supply store. Remember I said I'm gonna get a ponytail. So I need to get that ponytail and was it the edge? I think it was edge booster. One of them, whatever that um, last time I did my ponytail I actually hold my hair. I really do need to figure out what to do with my hair, y'all. I really, really do. And the lady was like, oh, you know, when you get your hair braided, try to make sure it's not too tight and put drops. Which, like I said, I need to do better with it. I, I know. But it wasn't, um, the wait wasn't too long. I did go to a Dominican hair salon. They charged me $10 extra for the deep conditioner. So I got that. And then a trim. Um, I think that was a maybe another ten dollars for that and what's so funny back in the days i used to go to a dominican girl in miami ah she's doing my hair so right y'all she's doing my hair so right back in the days okay i mean my hair was nice and full and long that's when i actually took better care of my hair nowadays i'm just like whatever i could put a wig on i could do this and now it's like now I gotta put a hat on because it's too thin. I'm looking thinny, thin and thin. Thin out here. Then it's for oh, you know what? Let me I try to be better with cursing because I, I have a potty mouth. But when I get on here, I try not to have a potty mouth. Just in case London's watching. You know, I gotta be. I'm one of those mothers, you know. I I wear several hats. I wear the chef hat, the mother hat, the going out have a good time chick hat time to be trying to be serious um time to be serious <laughs> see i can't even be serious right now hat okay a counselor a wife a this say that all of that honey so yeah i don't i try not to have a potty mouth on here just because she watched my videos which i told her don't watch my videos and what's so funny one time she what not even one time a couple of times she'll play in my um vlogs on our TV at home and I walked in and I'm like London what are you doing she's like what I'm just watching I don't even like to hear my voice sometimes when it's on TV or when I edit my videos I'm like I don't like my voice y'all I don't like my voice I buy so many different ad controls that I don't even know what kind to buy anymore like I'm going in there like which one did I buy last time that I said I'd like? I don't I don't even know. Sad. They didn't have the wrap. It's called the wrap ponytail or something like that. They didn't have the one I like. They had like kinky straight and it's not going to match the texture of my hair. They do have a lot of the drawstring ones. The thing about the drawstring one is it looked kind of bulky on the top. I was getting that before, but it just looked bulky and it was such a mission to put on. So I'm not getting that one. I'm gonna stop at another beauty supply store, but I'm gonna do, go ahead and do my eyebrows. And then um, I'll come back and talk to y'all. But this is the one I um, bought. Never bought this one. I know for sure I ain't buy this one before. Well, I'm gonna see how it works on my hair. I'm gonna see. It's so depressing how my hair is now. <laughs> so depressing. I just have to laugh at myself and my hair. And I got a hard brush to get a slick slick y'all slick because this hair is straight so it should be easy to put my hair in a ponytail but it's me so it might not be easy who am i freaking fooling child these people don't know how to drive they don't know how to park none of that move come on now lord have mercy 
know what y'all be doing. But I don't want no parts of it. Anyways, it is a time to go into the grocery store. Yay! <laughs> so fake. Okay, remember I said I got to do better with my time management skill. So I did ask hubby earlier today what would he like to eat so I could go ahead and pick it up. And I tend to do that, ask him what he wants. I always make him what he wants. And he said he wants soup, y'all. Soup. On this nice hot summertime. Is it even summer yet? No. Someone else starts to gym. But y'all know what I mean. He said he wants soup. And I usually make him... I usually make this Haitian soup once a year. I don't make it often. Maybe twice a year. And... I got it from this book here. This is a Haitian recipe book. Well, actually, I didn't get it from here. I get my recipe from here, but obviously you can look for it online. But I like this book. I had this book for years, years. Since I don't make it often, I do always have to look and see about the ingredients. And child, look at this book. It has been through something. And y'all don't judge me. I'm going to just take a picture of what um, the ingredients I need. Y'all see that? I know some of the stuff I do need. And I think I'm about putting it in a crock pot. Just, uh, I'm not putting it in that regular in the other pot. I told y'all I'll make my soup in. So I need, I know I need plantain, spinach, um, yucca, malanga, egg. Uh, Carrots, celeries. Mm, 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 mm. What else do I need? I already got chicken thighs. I love cooking chicken thighs. I don't know. It's something about chicken thighs that always, always hit different. <laughs> I don't know. I just love making chicken thighs. So I'm gonna put chicken thighs in there. What else do I need? I think I. You know what? I probably brought this book here for nothing because I already know everything I need. I need parsley time I, I already know what i need but i'm gonna take a picture and i'm gonna make my little my haitian seasoning too i want to make haitian spaghetti as well i guess this is haitian everything this weekend well this week i do have the sausage i'm sorry i'm thinking i have sausage already i just need the spaghetti <clears throat> to make it let me take a picture of that and I'm going to look up the spices. I know what I need for the spices, but I'm going to show you all again. I showed you all like last year. If you follow me since last year, if you subscribe to me since last year, you know about that um, me seasoning um, garlic, peppers, putting Maggie in there. If y'all want the recipe, <laughs> let me know. But they have one in here too. I don't follow this one, uh, but I want to show you all about that. So one of my good friends from Miami, I said that last time, he's celebrating his birthday tonight. I'm really not in the mood to go. I don't see him as often. And I'm not really a fan of clubs. I feel like I'm too old to be in a club like that. I'll go once in a blue or during the day, you know, like a little day party. You know, I'll be tipsy and drunk by 5 o'clock and it's time to go or, you know, 8 o'clock. I'll do that. I'm more of a... Let's do brunch, let's do lunch, let's do a little day party, once in a while, a club. I don't like to stand up in nobody club. I feel like an old chick, you know, and uh, I'm just not in the mood. My husband's like, it's not about you. I know it's not about me, and it's no, nothing against him or anything, because that's my, that's my friend, you know. We've been friends for over 20 years, so. I just don't want to go. I'm just not in the mood. And I don't like that club that he's going to. It's like, dude, why do you need to go to that club? Mm -mm. Mm, no. All right. So here's the one that I tend to make. If you want, I don't like, um, I think I don't put, I don't like cilantro, cilantro and parsley in mine. This is not how I make mine, but I'm going to make mine. And remember you all, I put it in the mason jar and store it in the refrigerator and season my meat and things like that. And you can add whatever else seasoning you want to it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my beautiful culture. Hey, hey yes. Say what you're thinking.
Throwing my makeup off right here, huh? Let me see. Let me throw my makeup off. Just like make my face look yellow. Let's get it. So I know I just got my hair done. I took a nap and I woke up. Hmm. What time is it right now? I'm late. So I didn't get a chance to do my ponytail at all. Hold up. Where is the strap? For this wig. I don't still sleeping. Who? The strap for the wig. I, you know what? Still sleeping? Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened to the strap. No, I gotta get the strap. I don't know where I put the strap. Look at my aesthetics. What? Crease more handsome. Oh my gosh. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're doing too much. You want to try that Cardi B? Uh, what should we call it? Hold on, y'all. Workout plan. Cardi B workout plan? Yeah, I'm no. trying to get you to pole dance, girl. Yeah, I don't, yeah for real, don't be paying that man no money. <laughs> <laughs> it took a lot out of me right now to get up. Like, I was enjoying my nap. But hold on. So I got my eyebrows done. I told the lady that I don't I, that I don't want it um, too arched because this one is more arched than the other. I told her I just want to. I just want when I draw it in. I just want it to go like this. <laughs> she was like, "What? Draw me a picture. <laughs> draw you a picture or show me a picture." So I had to show her picture how I had my eyebrows before. And she's like, okay, well, I could do a little bit for now. And next time, let it grow in. Next time, it'll be better. That's the hustle. That's the I hustle. Want that money now and next two, three, four, whatever weeks. Well, if you got, well, if you get your eyebrows done, you go every two weeks. I get my eyebrows threaded. Threaded. So. That's right here for that lady. That's what you call job security. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else, I get their eyebrows done. Hello. Hello. Yo, this way gonna fall off. There's no strap holding it. <sighs> nah, that's good. Whatever. So this is it. <sighs> Hopefully we don't, we're not gonna stay long because I'm really trying to be in my bed. Okay, relaxing. Sleep, not even relaxing, sleep. I'm trying to sleep. I told you all I'm trying to do better with my time management. Got everything ready for tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you guys that tomorrow. Uh, let me show you guys, I am wearing, oh, excuse me, I'm wearing the white pants with this. But I decided to put the black belt instead because that white belt was looking really, mm -mm, it was looking like a little 10 year old belt. So here it is. Since this place, you know what? I shouldn't say since this place. I want to look chill right now. I, I don't care. Okay. It is like 11 something right now. Okay. I'm trying to fix this and talk to y'all. It's about 11 something. So by the time we get there, it'll be 12 o'clock. Hmm. Be time to go, y'all. Oh, should I push this back a little bit? Y'all know I'll be having a problem with this damn wig. Oh, damn. I 
I really don't know where the strap went. Cause I put it back in my closet. I didn't do anything after that. So I don't even understand where the, um, the strap went. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know, your girl would truly, truly appreciate it. And turn your notification on so you miss out on your girl. All right, all right. I need to touch up on my lips. And then I am about to go. Oh, she about to say something right now, y'all. Yeah, babe. You, oh, now you're in the car. What? Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. Oh, I was gonna say, is there anything in there? My nose ran going the wrong way. Oh, I think it looks okay. Uh, chow, chow, chow. Babe, do you want to try that? What should we call it or not? The Cardi B um, whip thing. <laughs> You're gonna have diarrhea, huh? <laughs> that creepy stuff. Let me show you all if y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Hold on. I'm not gonna bring my camera, I'm gonna leave it home. So this is, sorry about the lighting as well. It's upstairs, cause somebody's rushing me. But this is the, what is it, whipped? Whip shots, vodka infused, 10% alcohol. That's horrible, I'm showing you all this, but we all grown here, right? You have a good kissy face. No, you <laughs> Hater, man, y'all just see this? Let me put this stuff 14 on. plus years, she still hates. <laughs> so that's what the Cardi B, I want her to Cardi B workout plan. What Cardi B workout plan? I told you. She was a stripper. Pole aerobics. Uh, well, I mean, she used to be a stripper, but. Pole aerobics, pole aerobics. All right. And she got her. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow and happy Sunday. I am cooking right now and I don't know why I put on this white shirt and I am kind of messy. Things are splashing on me when I cook. So I decided to put this robe on. I think I got some on me because I was using tomato paste to make my Haitian spaghetti and I'm putting it over there because the stove is over there. I was like, what am I doing? Sometimes I'll be thinking. I, I really don't, y'all. Sometimes I don't be thinking. Hope you all had a great weekend. Yesterday was a good night. We was there probably about three hours. And my friend told me last night, if you didn't come, I was going to stop talking to you. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm glad I came because I remember I really was not in the mood to go. I am doing good with my time management, y'all. So I made the Haitian spaghetti. I even made my... Haitian seasoning, which is called Epis. I think last time it was more greenish, maybe? I think it was more greenish, was it? Mm, I don't know, maybe not. But this time around, I got two. So I'll go ahead and store it in my refrigerator. When it's time to cook, I just add a little bit of this and whatever else season I wanna add, and we're good to go, y'all. So I did add a little bit of this to my spaghetti and I will show you all but uh yeah mm -mm. we ain't doing all that hubby decided to cut everything for me and let me show you. and he put them on a the paper plate so sorry presentation is not up to par <laughs> whatever y'all want to call it but he cut everything up for me yeah see how he cut everything up let me turn the light over for y'all we have the I think this is, oh yeah, this is the yucca. We have the plantains, the carrots, the malanga celery, which I do need to cut because it doesn't need to be like that. I have four pieces of chicken thighs. And you want to cook it for a little bit to lock in that flavor. Welcome to Haitian cooking. <laughs> you ready to go? There's a few of the bay leaves. I got to clean it, a little rancy rinse. A little time. <laughs> Love it right here like, what is going on? And I'm gonna tell you where we going right now. We'll talk more about that yet. Uh, here we go. We add that in there. We're gonna add a little parsley. Everything is fresh. Fresh homemade soup for the hubby. I don't know why he, why he wants, babe, are you really gonna um eat this damn soup? 
No, you could get it right here. So I can add it to the soup. Can you rinse the uh, the spinach for me? You can move. Yeah. Just a little rinsey rinse. All right, add a little bit of parsley. Not too much. We need some flavor, y'all. We need some flavor for the motherland. Yeah, just rinse it. Okay. So this is how it looks. I season it a little bit. Of course, I need to season it again. You know, it's hard just seasoning straight water. Okay, season it to your liking. If you want to know what I put in there, comment down below. I'll let you all know. You see me keep moving my fingers. All right, so we got it for three hours on high. Thank you, London. And then when it's almost cooked, you can add dumplings to it. And I probably will do that later. I'll show you all later when we come back and I'll talk to you all more. Let me go ahead, put some pants on. And sorry, I see uh, extra plates over here. Hubby made turkey burgers and he just cut everything and put it on a plate to make it easier to serve us. So that's what, that's what's back there, y'all. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so lately Hubby has been writing reviews on Yelp. You wanna say something? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna explain a little bit? That means that so, really So, I create masterpieces of literature. <laughs> so you read my review. You're very detailed very detailed and I should be signed for a book. I should write like an autobiography, a memoir or something. Yeah, this let me get off my tangent. Yeah, but yeah. so we're always somewhere. Well, obviously y'all see that. They're like finding spots on TikTok or Google or Yelp or things of that nature. And you get your like five seconds of like somebody. Oh yeah, we got here. The food is really nice. I like the ambiance. Uh, we came in. Check this out in Atlanta. And that's it. That's like. Yes, it is. I need steak and potatoes. Yes, I right? do. I like substance to put in here. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, well I'll do it. There ain't no. nobody else doing this, so. I'm the one that told you. It's like, yeah, just keep doing it. She motivated me. I did. I motivated him. Yes. But I started. I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, just might as well. Yeah. I was like, all right, so sure, why not? Yeah. So in that process, there's like Yelp Elite, and I was like, oh, I could be Yelp Elite. Some people are Yelp Elite for like seven years. With everything that you do in life, you gotta put your time in, right? <laughs> I was like, but I'm Yelp Elite already. Like, I feel elite, period. I can't so yeah, then they hit me up. Yeah, they it's hit like, me. you're not Yelp elite, but you're on that trajectory, right? And we want to invite you out some places because you are elite to us. Oh my gosh. Bang, bang, already knew it. All right, so they invited him to go to, what's the name of the place? <laughs> To taste boba. <laughs> yeah, to taste boba. I'm like, well, that's the start. Uh, then later on, they start inviting you to new restaurants, grand openings. I read um, other type of events. So I'm like, just go ahead and just keep doing it. Keep taking these pictures and writing your reviews. You never know. I mean, it could be, you know, a little hobby. And I ain't no picture guy. You're really not. Because my pictures last night. Or even photogenic. Whatever. Y'all seeing the camera and the photos, it's not good. You see me in person, woo! I get you chills, don't I? <laughs> no. Uh, London, you hear this? You hear this, London? Uh, this is the picture he took of me last night. The outfit is cute, though. It's giving. It's giving see, grown. See, if this was TikTok, it would be nothing but them hearts floating up. This is grown. Yeah. Grown and sexy. Oh, picture. Do, 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 hearts, woman hearts. in her 40s doing her damn thing out here in these streets. You know what I mean? Make your noise, babe. What? <laughs> doing a damn thing. Making uh, time uh, for everything in life. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. It's a motivation right here. It's a motivational... <laughs> For all those that follow. And I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing about that part. But anyways. No, no, 
she hates the cameraman, but look, look how she's sporting that cameraman picture right No, there. that one is okay. It's just the pictures come yeah. out dark. That's the problem. They come out dark. I'm like, babe, no credit. tap it, you know, put the... <laughs> I don't know. So now I have to sit here and try to make it a little bit lighter because it's kind of dark for the thumbnail. But y'all, I was posing like I'm a star because I am a star. My mother told me. Hmm. Elite. <laughs> so yes, we're about to go taste some boba, okay? Hubby is doing a taste test. Of course, it will thicken later on once we add the dumplings. Hold on, baby. It's good. It's great! <laughs> yeah, so I gotta deal with it, right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna let it cook for another whew, two, two to three hours. Oof. And it's already 9.30. Hubby's gonna keep an eye on it so I don't have to season it anymore. Like I said, I do need to add the dumplings to it, but I don't think I'm gonna be up for that. If he wants to do it, he can go ahead and add it himself, but he's not gonna do that for me. But he wanted this soup, right? Right, babe? No dumpling zone. No dumpling zone. But we're gonna add we're gonna need to add a little flour to it or something. It has to the cornstarch to thicken it yeah you can add some cornstarch so it's good i wish i had a scotch bonnet pepper but i only had the scotch bonnet pass it to me babe right here the scotch bonnet by the way so i added a little it's bit of great. yes i had a little bit of that um so the boba place did we even say the name of the place rebel tea house the best matcha y'all the best this is not mine. I had a little bit left. I kept saying, oh, I'm going to save this for tomorrow to drink. Mm -mm. That's mine over there. Let me see how much I have left. <laughs> it, it's really, really good, y'all. It is really, look how much I have left. So hubby got a free, a free boba, and we had to pay for hours. It was like $6.95 per cup. The elite life. And he got his little sticker, which I showed you all. Where's your sticker, babe? Oh, it's upstairs. <laughs> he put it upstairs already. <laughs> he about to make himself a sandwich right now. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I was on Macy's website. And remember the shoes I bought? They're on sale. Well, I got them on sale, but they're on sale still. And look, for $44.55. Let me stop. What was the original price? It, the original price is 90. If you use the code. 99. Oh, 99. Ooh, I got glasses on. I still can't see. Yeah, 99. I had it crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get. That's a, that's a good price. I think that's how much I paid for mine. Maybe 44, maybe 50. Did you, did you tell them no flavors of boba did you get? Oh, I didn't tell you guys the flavor of the boba. I'm sorry. Oh, that is true. I got a dirty matcha. Hubby got, huh? Huh? Put up the wrong one. <laughs> it don't matter. They didn't know that. <laughs> dirty Rebel. Dirty Rebel. I don't know what the Dirty Rebel was in there. What was in the Dirty Rebel? It don't say. Mine is a Dirty Rebel. Oat milk. That's it. Um, And ice. <laughs> <laughs> and London got the honeydew. Jasmine. Honeydew jasmine. I didn't like that. It was better when they added sugar. Yeah. yeah. And you could do you could pick your sugar level. So that was pretty um that was pretty good. I'm about to make that sandwich right now. But anyways, y'all, let me go ahead and end this vlog. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know your girl would truly, truly appreciate it. And <laughs> turn your notification on so you'll miss out on your girl. You know your girl posts every 
Wednesday. You took your bun off. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because it's blinking and I need to delete some of this memory on here. Like I always say, until next time. Slay forever.